will try to make this script. Madam has to be in flight by, we promised by 12.20 she'll be leaving the hospital. Otherwise, she may miss the flight too, I think. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Madam, uh, from the bottom of my, our hearts. Uh, this was a real tight schedule uh, for uh, Madam. Uh, she was yesterday and obviously busy with uh, Republic Day celebrations, again traveling to Madura and again uh, going to somewhere in Chennai, managing two states uh, uh, with multiple other things. It's a great honor. But uh, especially, like, uh, you know, it's very rare that we have uh, doctors in a uh, political field and that two highly qualified doctors. Uh, like, Madam is a very accomplished uh, gynecologist and she was one of the first people to learn about uh, fetal medicine ultrasound. Uh, now there are, I think, a uh, reasonable number of people, but when Madam did that, she was one of the real first people. She had gone to Toronto, Canada to learn these things, and uh, most importantly, she was helping most people after coming back. Uh, not only Madam was not, if she was doing a pure private practice, I think she would be one of the top consultants uh, anywhere, but I think uh, she has uh, taken a kind efforts to serve people more, even before politics also. I, yes, she needs a big round of applause. Eh? She has taken the ultrasound and did it almost for free, I think, uh, for multiple patients for fetal medicine and all, but uh, after that, uh, just now on the way up, Madam was saying, even in the fifth standard, uh, when everybody was telling, I want to be a doctor, a police, a scientist and all that, Madam told that she wanted to be a politician, it seems. Uh, <laughs> despite family's, uh, mother's disapproval, I think she's finally went into the field and she's doing a great service and it's an honor and uh, many Madam's husband, daughter, sister, I think at least seven to ten doctors are there in the family. So it's unusual that uh, we have an interaction with, uh, like, um, uh, who has a knowledge of, inside out knowledge of medical field being in uh, good political positions. Uh, so I think it's an honor. And despite the, like, real lack of time, Madam has uh, made sure that uh, she's come to the conference on her way to the airport. Uh, thank you uh, for coming and. Uh, this was uh, like, a, like a wonderful conference. Uh, we thank all the international delegates in the front rows for uh, taking your time uh, from all over the world. I think uh, you know, some of them with uh, red eye and all made it to Hyderabad. Hopefully we hosted you well and you tasted Hyderabad biryani and supported the local economy with some pearl shopping and all. And uh, tomorrow will be the last day, I think. But uh, it feels great to have it all full of so many enthusiastic uh, people. And this is like a real high quality conference uh, organized by Dr. Rajshekar Chakravarti has taken a lot of efforts uh, here. Looks easy in the auditorium. And I think at least from the last six months he has made all the efforts to get all these uh, eminent faculty here for a great, uh, wonderful session. And a lot of papers are also coming uh, through this uh, effort, combined effort. Uh, so I'll not take too much of your time, but we thank all the delegates, I mean uh, faculty, uh, delegates, and most importantly, our honorable governor to spare this uh, time and make this a grand success. And uh, a last word for the electronic and print media who is covering this too. Uh, thank you for propagating the message. And uh, like acute kidney failure is, uh, getting a lot of treatment is there for the kidney disease too nowadays and uh, we have a special discussion about obstetric uh, kidney disease and uh, acute uh, in critical care what exactly is uh, the latest in uh, like advances in uh, renal replacement therapy and uh, kidney injury so uh, it's an honor for me and uh, without too much of i'll uh, finish this thing and uh, dr ravi will continue with the next uh,